hope you're having an awesome week. Uh, this week by high demand, I decided to do a video on diastasis recti. Now, if you've never had a baby before, you're probably like, what in the heck is diastasis recti? I've never heard that term before. Diastasis recti is a condition in which both halves of your abdominis muscles actually kind of split into two. It happens more so during pregnancy because as your pregnant belly grows, the tissue expands and it thins out. However, if there's too much pressure on your ab muscles, it causes the tissue to thin, and this thinning causes your abs to kind of split open together. Think of your abs like a zipper. Your body is essentially all zipped up with your organs nice, neat, and packed inside. As your belly grows, you break that zipper, and what's going to happen? All of your organs, you know, they're going to come out. So typically with most diastasis uh, recti patients, they have little tummy bulges, which is actually their insides popping out somewhat like a hernia. But just note that diastasis recti can happen to anyone. It's not just pregnant ladies. Typically people who are overweight can have diastasis recti. Children can get diastasis recti. But most cases that I've seen as a nurse and as a certified personal trainer is that most patients or clients will have diastasis recti during their pregnancy. And it happens usually with multiple pregnancies, um, twin triplet pregnancies, uh, women who gain too much weight during pregnancies, and women who also put too much physical exertion on their bellies or abdominal cavity during their pregnancies. So first things first, how do you prevent diastasis recti? There's no for sure way on how to prevent it. I recommend that my prenatal clients gain a healthy amount of weight during the pregnancy. You don't wanna exceed the weight limit because that will increase your chances of diastasis recti. You wanna avoid certain exercises that can cause diastasis recti. These certain exercises will actually put pressure on your abs and cause them to split further. Again, if you already have diastasis recti during your postpartum stage, you're gonna to want to avoid these certain exercises as well. What exercises should you avoid? Anything that puts pressure on your abdominal cavity such as push-ups, planks, crunching, any type of twisting motion, such as Russian twists, um, anything of that nature. Again, if you have a weakened core, you are at risk for developing diastasis recti. That's why it's so important to strengthen your core, not only before and after pregnancy. How do you know if you have diastasis recti? Well, there's a simple test you can do at home. You can do it right now. It takes just a couple minutes. You're gonna check for the gap. You're gonna lay down flat on your back. You're gonna put your knees upward and you're going to put your arms, well, one arm behind your head and you're going to basically crunch upward as if you're you know, in a starting position for a crunch. You're gonna put your two fingers right above your navel or belly button and you're gonna crunch upward and if you can feel any type of separation, that's going to mean that you have some degree of diastasis recti. It all depends on how many finger widths you're feeling in there. Generally speaking, two or more finger widths are going to be classified as diastasis recti. But again, you're going to place a hand behind your head, two fingers above your belly button. Say there's an imaginary line above your belly button. You're going to put your two fingers there. If you feel any gaps as you crunch up upward, you have diastasis recti, my friend, and you need to correct that ASAP. Okay, so if you determine you do have diastasis recti from doing the self-check at home, here is a diastasis recti friendly workout that you can do to not only work out your entire body, but to actually heal and correct your diastasis at home. I would recommend doing these moves three times a week, um, aim for about 15 reps per move. And if you have any questions, just comment below or send me an email. I would love to hear from you. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up. See you next week.
most of all enjoyed the workout um, again thumbs up like this video and be sure to subscribe for new weekly videos every week thank you so much for watching